I also this is a video about non-violent communication uh, the method to communicate in a way so that other people can understand us better the topic is a bit different from general topics about technology we publish on uh, but the communication is very important uh, topic so that's why we took this so this video will talk about the introduction the basic uh, framework um, of nonviolent communication developed by Marshall B Rosenberg will go over the major components it has and how you can uh, use it in your life and really improve your communication with your friends with your colleagues and relative etc whomever you communicate with so introduction this is a method which helps us to express ourselves to us first of all in a better way and also to others secondly it helps us to understand the perspective of others in a better way so in a way it helps us form that connect uh, between other people with other people also it helps us avoid the defending attacking withdrawing the general tendencies we have when somebody is trying to judge us or trying to criticize us so general uh, sort of a disconnect or a conflict which arises between people it helps us solve that conflict so in general day to day it is okay the communication is not a problem but whenever a conflict arises then in a very clear in a very method uh, methodical way if we can communicate that will be helpful so talking about the major components of this framework there are four components observation whatever we see uh, whatever we uh, you know touch or which are very objective reality right second are our feelings our emotions right third are our needs what are the needs behind those emotions and fourth are the requests that we can do to the other person and uh, which we want the other person to do so we'll we'll study all the four uh, in bit detail now so observation what are observations so observations are the facts so what we see what we hear what we touch right evaluation is our judgment and interpretation of it so what happens is we mix the two so we mix the two or maybe sometimes we are mostly judging or interpreting whenever we talk about people so we can say you are lazy you are dishonest or you are uh, you know happy or you are sad so these are again our judgment of the the person but this is never the observation right so observations are the objective reality so observation one example can be you did not submit the assignment uh, by deadline yesterday so this is a, a fact which is you did not submit the assignment so there is no kind of uh, uh, your interpretation on it then the thing what uh, you know why we mix it and why mixing is wrong is whenever we judge somebody or evaluate somebody then sort of we are you know alienating that person because nobody likes judgment somebody if judges us then we feel very bad right if one day you are late to the office and somebody says you are not disciplined that feels very bad because just because of one sort of instance somebody is trying to make a sort of whole uh, moralistic judgment about you so this judgment is a sort of a breaker in communication so we never have to judge we only have to state our observations second our feelings so feelings uh, are the raw emotions that we have right feelings uh, is hap what is happening is in professional settings are being considered less and less important because uh, what people are saying that we have to be very you know focused on the work we don't have to be emotional about it but as human beings i don't think that uh, humans can work without emotions humans are not computers humans are emotional beings so it's very important that we express our emotions what sort of mistake we do is we rather than expressing our feelings we express our opinion so statement like it's not right to uh, play loud music at night it's okay but it never talks about your emotions it just is just making an opinion and similarly uh, the other examples like uh, the word feel when we use but uh, how we use it can sometimes mislead like uh, i feel i didn't get a good deal i feel like a failure i feel my boss is manipulative again you are 
trying to project that uh, some feeling but again the emotion is not coming out so these are an incorrect way of um, you know expressing your feelings so correct way maybe you can say i am feeling frustrated so this just gives a good understanding of your emotional state i feel impatient i feel sad and slowly then build your sort of vocabulary saying i feel amazed calm friendly happy proud afraid angry anxious ashamed dejected depressed disturbed exhausted frightened hurt jealous nervous stressed sad and other many other emotions right here i am expressing my feelings my emotions so why is it important because human beings are emotional beings when we express our emotions there's a very high chance the other person will also understand and you know appreciate that whatever you are going through right without uh, this expression of feeling the other person will not understand and also for ourselves is very important that we tag our feelings right needs needs are the roots of feeling actually we think that other people are responsible for for our feelings but it's not true our own needs needs of any human being Uh, are responsible for the feeling so every human being has biological and emotional and other needs and i will go through some of them um, in a moment but those needs are the reason why we feel what we feel right so when somebody shouts at you and you feel angry you say oh you shouted at me and that's why i'm angry but it's not the case it's your own need of getting respect that was not being met that's why you felt angry so there can be three people same thing happens all three will have different reaction right so the external uh, thing remained the same but what changed was those people and however in what degree those internal needs were met uh, is the reaction so basic human needs are like autonomy choosing one's dream integrity authenticity creativity meaning celebration interdependence closeness love support respect play spiritual uh, communion beauty etc so every human has this once we express it it's very high chance that the other people uh, the other person will also understand and appreciate this need because if i can feel sad the other person can also feel sad so then they appreciate it and a connect is formed so it's very important that we express the fourth and the final component uh, is the request so once we observe something felt something because of certain need the fourth is the closure part where we say okay this if you do this then i will feel better so request should always be in a form of very clear positive concrete manner and example can be i would like you to drive below uh, speed limit so this is a very clear positive uh, action that you are requesting from somebody and also giving a, a specific sort of definition to it right so that's how specific we have to be when we are requesting a statement like i want you to understand me is is again a request but it is not giving the the clear sort of specific action you want the other person to do because two people are there there are a lot of things which happening inside one person feelings needs etc and then there is a second person who has uh, these feelings etc as well but if the communication does not happen then how can we assume the other person will understand us so this whole method is about expressing ourselves in such a clear concise manner so that the other person understands us now final thoughts i will say we have to try it out to see if it works for us one example can be a wife is uh, talking to her husband saying i felt anxious when you didn't come home by 9 pm yesterday as i want to take care of my children in best possible way can i request you to reach home by 6 pm every day so all the different components of the framework are here so i felt anxious is a feeling didn't come home by 9 pm is an observation and and i want to take care of my children is a need so uh, and can i request to come by 6 pm is a very specific request right so if the feeling is there then the other person can connect because they can all they would have also felt anxious they don't want no husband wants to, uh, her wife to feel anxious and then there is an observation which nobody can refute and a need which is a basic human need so husband also understands that 
and then a clear concise request which husband can work on right so that's how the communication can happen of course this whole video is based on this book by Marshall B. Rosenberg nonviolent communication you should read it to understand this uh, method better but the bottom line is of this method is all about expressing yourself in a very clear manner in a very human manner so that you form that connection with an, another human and also try to understand him or her and express yourself in the best way so that's it uh, take care and uh, and any question please put in the comments uh, good luck yeah